Mark Peterson and the extreme team are cutting burned out trees to help victims of the gray fire rebuild. Chopping down the trees is only half the battle. Moving and transporting them is a massive undertaking. Let's check in with Mark to see how it's going. It's been about two months since the Gray Fire and, of course, the Oregon Road Fire. This flag was set about a week after the fire. This lot is now and was currently owned by a retired SEER instructor from Fairchild Air Force Base. He was well insured. He's grateful that they got out with two vehicles and the health of their kids. Now we look at what's going on currently as they try to recover. And we're going to see that the extreme team is here for three days. In that three days, we have cut, we have limbed, and we have loaded up and taken to the chipper all that we have. We have one more day yet to go. But I have to tell you, while we're here for a short period of time, the recovery here is going to be a long time. Ron Burris appreciates us being here. We are working now to get the community involved and so that we can take the next step towards a larger uh, debris and removal operation. The other point is that they're planning on the next three Saturdays, trying to get quite a bit done. This Saturday, October 21st, we are looking for experienced uh, sawyers with chainsaws and protective gear that can come in. On Saturday, October 28th, we're going to be taking some of the bigger tree pieces that cannot be moved by hand, and we're looking for people with uh, mini excavators, skidsters, that can come in and help pick that material up so that we can get it piled and then on the following weekend on November the 4th, we're asking for a large contingent of community volunteers because we do have a lot of tree limbs, smaller tree pieces that are going to have to be picked up by hand and stacked. The volunteers from Horizon Credit Union saw this for the first time today, and you see nothing but ash and metal from fire that burned 2,500 degrees. Again, we're grateful we're able to do just a little bit. We'll be back, and we'll continue. Team Rubicon will be back next week. There's a lot of love for this community, and they're going to continue to strive to build and reimagine Medical Lake. From the Great Fire, I'm Mark Peterson, the Extreme Team for News Now.